man had the SFU, we know what it means in our country to believe only two things, the teacher and the radio. It's in a teacher's servant to come. But our teachers in the world and dignity went to the lowest end in that country. I am saying this because I was a teacher myself. How about you go, you people know here that you can verify. He was the only person who actually brought dignity back to the teacher in that country. When I start from you know, I'm right. You know, so, um, we are not here to say much, but I guess I am appealing to all of us to be very, very careful how we select our leaders. What we need to do is to let our leaders to educate and sensitize our delegates who are going to do this both in the Minnesota Leon. Not to look at the fact that I hear from the same lady on this person, or this person is my brother, or is my brother-in-law, for the person that we can put in position that will seriously change in the APC because the APC indoctrination machine seriously at work in Sierra Leone. So we have to put somebody that is selectable, somebody who can resonate with the public of that country, somebody who knows how the large public in the, in the, in the young people's uh, arena. So without much ado, I just want to stop here. Once again, I'm going to go for all the way. It's a uh, very way for that to be. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. At this point, I'm going to ask for the last speaker. Oh. Uh, do we have anybody on Mr. Kyle, please? I will go to give the Musa to speak on behalf of Mr. Kyle, too. So many of you to monitor that now. Uh, this is a gentleman. Uh, many of us in our various professions think that we are not members of, we are not involved in politics. We don't want to take part in politics. Uh, but the last time I checked, politics will never leave you alone. <laughs> Politicians control the destiny of our, every citizen of, in our country. So the least we can do is to get involved in the selection or election of these people who are going to steer the boat to, the, to, to safety so that they can bring prosperity to our people. I personally, I personally I, I, I admire the people who take this bold steps forward to become leaders of our country. But I know it's a difficult and very courageous step. Like Mr. Andrew Kai. I'm speaking for him. I listen to him. I know the people who have been here for long. And I think that he was the only person who has answered the question that have always been asking people or aspirants that have been coming to this area. So I am thinking that we should support these people who will think we not only change Sierra Leone, but change the party itself. The Sierra Leone needs to be the SFPP party. Needs to be changed. SFPP itself needs to be revamped. I don't think it's doing this, it, it, it's all the same. The same thing all the time. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm, 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 I just want to say this here, that Mr. Andrew Kelly is one individual who really is aware of what's happening in Sierra Leone. Who has the potential to make a change in that country? We can put everybody there. Anybody want to say, oh, I want to put my brother or my friend. But who is really going to go there, have the potential, have the understanding of the system? I think that uh, Andrew Kelly is one of the individuals. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's support the politicians that we know can bring change and prosperity to our people. Not just because he's my friend or he's my brother. I want to believe that Mr. Anukali is one individual who is, who is very much in, in green with his system. He's been in every level. Mr. Young, I don't want to bore you off. Thank you very much for listening.
सात जिलों में समूह प्रदेश चीनी जिलों में इन आमित विहार और सारे चारे फॉर डिस्ट्रिक्ट मैनेजर कुमार नो पे हुए and I'm going to definitely say this guy that he only has two minutes to talk to us. I'm pretty sure I'll be close to the mic while he's talking on this microphone tonight. Because I know if we give him chance to talk, we'll not be there until 2 o'clock tomorrow morning. So ladies and gentlemen, without much ado, I'd like to call on Mr. Sinat Zabo to please come forward and speak on behalf of Mr. Sinat Kalundi. Mr. Sinat, you have two minutes please. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Mr. Exit. Ladies and gentlemen, I've had all what you've been saying here about uh, black leadership and so on, politics, politics. But politics does not start with black leadership. It starts with the parliamentarians. These are the people who are going to decide how we are going to live. And in that thing, I have decided to support a candidate, and I'm not from Colum. He didn't invite me to his, he didn't call me to his campaign, I invited myself. For one reason, and one reason only, he's a very decent man. So, I want to be here and see such a decent man trying to make a change in our country, then I take and fold my leg like that and say, no, I have to be involved. And ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you my candidate for Colonel Central One constituency. And this is the region, this is the constituency that belongs, used to belong to the Vice President, who knows here, and I'm pretty sure, and I guarantee you, that we are going to win that constituency. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Nadiawani. LPP. I'm going to be. I'm going to make a really short. You know, politicians like to talk long, but I'm going to make it really short. Thank you, Mr. Dabo. You know, I'm going to promise all of you. You know, Slavi is a defector from LPP, and uh, you can see I'm trying to bring him back. Okay, I'm going to bring Slavi Dabo back because he has a, he has a role to play in, in the development of our party, but. On, on a serious note, I want to uh, welcome all of you to Georgia. For those of you that are coming to Atlanta for the first time, I want to welcome you and uh, we hope that your stay here will be an enjoyable one and we will entertain you in the peak style. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with the story that just went on in, in Kono, like Mr. Dabo said, I'm running for Kono Central. Kono Central is uh, those of you that have been to uh, Connor and Comtasis, Sepadu, and most of the uh, uh, Takora area. Not even one day, like this man said, you know. This is my first time throwing my heart into politics. I've been a, uh, in the medical profession for over 30 years, and uh, I'm not happy with what is going on, particularly in my area where I come from. Those of you who know Kono, Kono has been the best actor for Syria for a very long time. If you are familiar with our story, our story is really beautiful to a point that you can't tell the story. Okay? So, I want to ask all of you, uh, Mr. Uh, the Chairman will be talking about the fundraiser later on in the night program, but I want to encourage all of you to, to help to make the bad election that is going to take place on December 11th in Kono for us to win it because that by election is going to be a barometer by which we are going to measure the 2012 election. That seat, APC won that seat very badly, but we are going to win it because Kono is solidly is currently in NCPT camp. We are not going to allow that world to be full of our heads anymore. Our eyes are open and we are going to make 
this decision that is going to guide our, our faith and the future of Quran with our battle practice. So we are hoping that whatever the APC does, the one that sees, but we are going to do everything to make sure that our people are out there voting and we are going to win that seat on December 11, 2010. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to hold you up. We have another program that we are going to uh, move over to. So thank you very much and uh, look, I'm looking forward to all of your support. Join our support, jo sorry, join our camp. And our, the model for our, uh, our campaign is we deserve better and together we can make it better. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Naomi. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have given everybody an opportunity to present their cases. And then we are going to wrap up this show right tonight. Before we wrap it up, I'm going to call on our Honorable Vice Chairman from the Wall Street chapter, Mr. Wode Shepu, to give us the closing remarks. Honorable Wode Shepu, please. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, for this sector of this program. I mean, as Vice Chairman, I, I have heard today what our Chairman of Western Area has challenged us with. That means to give him a date that we can sit down with whosoever is agreed by whatever has transpired up to this point that put together an executive that is headed by Augustine Bosfali. We are ready for that. And once we give you that date, Mr. Lanson Asadika and your respectful, beautiful wife, I will tell you that Washington, D.C., we want to host that meeting and we also want to host a corporate event immediately after that meeting. Because let nobody fool anybody here. This whole process is not about the West. It's not about the Big West. This problem is about the effort to be East Coast. <laughs> so if this is East Coast, We'll be able to have all that great information put on the table. Then nobody says, I do not have transportation to go to California. So you carry the problem where you know the problem is. And we on the Pali Park are ready to do anything humanly possible. Even if we have to compromise ourselves or something up to this point. So that this party will become one again. It has nothing to do with position. What it has to do with is, are we really sincere in ourselves as the sixth region to acclaim leadership of all the world and the region and lead SIPC in 2012? Because of the sixth region, but financially and otherwise, I think they know that we are created. So if we join together, we will be able to sort of demonstrate that and lead SFC to win. It's not about the ambassadorial position or government minister position. It's about winning in our agency because we are a better party to start the interest of Sierra Leone. <laughs> On a long note, I also want you to communicate to next that some of us are going to sit on that table, not only to defend what you think of right, but also to bring to right some of the things that you think have contributed to this problem, whether it's originated here, we got to be here, or it was originated here, and you guys try to not show it over here, and do not, please, condemn us. Give us chance so that because if we really want the truth to come out, we have to take it all. We know a lot of things that happen.